December the 31st, 2021. We just got back from Killer Burger. I'm feeling pretty litty. I want to clean up the house. It looks pretty out of control in here. I really want to clean up the house, do some laundry, change the bed sheets. But I don't know if I can do that feeling this way. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling litty. Baby had me at Killer Burger turning up by myself. What? Not by yourself. I was solo dolo by myself. I'm full litty. And we're trying to figure out this kitchen is a hot mess too. I cooked breakfast this morning. So the task for the night is to clean the house up. Clean the house and then the New Year's festivities shall begin. Yep. You got plans for the New Year's? Me? Yes. No. No? You the plans. I'm the plans? Yeah, girl. It's your damn birthday weekend. Why are you acting like you don't know when you're born? It is my birthday on Monday. I'm off until Tuesday. So, do you want to fight? Do you want these hands? That looks like it hurt. <laughs> Jamie. You don't like the New Year's fight works? They got them going too early, too. It ain't even 12 o'clock yet. It's New Year's Eve, Nuki. It's New Year's Eve, Nuki. Okay, so I took out my two twists. <coughs> and I'm trying to force myself to go ahead and wash my hair. And I really don't feel like it. And the hardest part is actually picking out what I want to use to do my hair routine and I feel like I have the clutter a lot of my hair products but I still have a whole lot of hair products but I just don't know what hair products I want to use like I remember my hair my go-to products was the Camille Rose natural hair products I tried the Miss Chicks products and the Shea Moisture products um those were the last two lines that I've used in my recent hair routine. I have all of my Camaro Rose hair products and it's Camaro Rose. Then they go into my Chi, all of the and the effigy, all of the hair products I use to straighten my hair. Some more curly hair products. Um and then down there is like my hair dye and um hairspray and stuff like that so so I decided to do a wash and go I used the mixed chicks shampoo conditioner and leave-in I and I also used the Camille Rose um, gel so I'm about to sit under the dryer for about 45 minutes and so far I think this wash and go is gonna come out pretty decent I ain't did a wash and go in so long and uh, I feel like if your hair don't look right when it's wet, it's not going to look right when it's dry. And right now, it's looking pretty decent wet. So, we shall see when it's dry. About to sit on the dryer and we'll see how it turns out in the morning. Because I ain't going to pick this out until I'm about to hit the streets. If you think I'm here to play around with y'all, y'all damn it on that. My hair is completely dry at this point, so I'm about to put my hair bunny on. It is currently 10.50, so we still have a couple more hours before the new year. But your girl is about to clock out. I am tired, so hopefully I stay up to 12, but if not, happy new year. What's up gang? Welcome to Jazzy Vlog. Today was an awesome day and I'm back home with a Come here. Tell people, say what's up. Say what's up is Janie Pants. It's Janie Pants need a haircut and a brushing and your hair all over the place. Anyway, 
today was an exciting day we went to the aquarium as you can as you can see by the b-roll we went to the aquarium this morning and that was my first time going to the aquarium and i'm about to be 34 years old and i ain't never been to an aquarium before and before we went to the aquarium of course we had to fill our bellies and get something to eat we went to sunflake cafe and buckhead is it buckhead or bankhead buckhead sunflower cafe so we went to sunflower cafe and um, it's a vegan spot. We not vegans. We did do the vegan challenge last year. We did Veganuary. This year, mm, I'm thinking about it, but I'm leaning towards the not doing it because I really just don't feel like doing it. But um, Sunflower Cafe is a restaurant that we go to often, especially when we was on our vegan kick. We went there a lot. But I end up getting the chicken biscuit. I never tried the chicken biscuit before. And I would say that's the best thing on the brunch menu. Because you get a um, sample of pretty much everything. Like you get the chicken biscuit. I had the tofu scramble. A kale salad. That kale salad was actually bussing. And it was something else. It was something else. Um, fried potatoes. And so that's everything that I enjoy for breakfast. I'm a savory type of breakfast person. I like for my food to be savory instead of sweet. So I also tried the um, chai tea latte. That was the best chai tea latte I ever had. It beat Starbucks and it beat Dunkin'. So yeah sunflower cafe has the best chai tea latte ever hands down after we finish our brunch we went to the aquarium we really want to get this art done because we're standing in this long line it's not really long it's just only two um what you call them artists it's only two drawers and it's two people in front of us so therefore however long it takes them to do one yeah we're about to stand in this line for a whole hour but you down for the wait huh you down for the wait yeah i've never had this done before so the aquarium was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was extremely crowded. I was surprised that it was crowded. And they definitely enforced the mask. Um, the only thing I will, I guess, suggest as far as the aquarium is just being more hands-on. Like, the exhibits, you go in and you see the different types of... So, um, after we left the aquarium, we went to Atlantic Station to go bowling. Daddy, what's the name of the bowling place? We went to a bowling place called Bolero. Um, never been there before. The wait was extremely long. It was like a 20 hour wait and it was like 20 some people in front of us. And I didn't understand the wait because we was... We end up putting our name on the list and sitting there for about 30, 45 minutes because we just went to the bar or some um, appetizers just to weigh out everything. But once we got our food and checked out, we just decided to dip because I didn't understand why it was so long wait. Most of the lanes were open, so I, I didn't get that. But now we are home. And I'm actually tired. I got a little sick from the aquarium. We did the 3D. Um, what was it? It was like a 3D. Uh, what you call that stuff? Virtual. Yeah. Uh, we did some type of virtual thing. And it got me sick for the rest of the day. I feel like car sick. So after that I really wasn't feeling too hot to do anything else so 
I was ready to come home. And so now I'm about to put my hair in my little bonnet, wipe my makeup off, and go to sleep. So that was my day one for 2022. I hope you enjoy your 2022 and let's get it.